morning and welcome to day two of E3. The Microsoft conference was a lot more showmanshipy than the Bethesda one. They um they started right off and had this fancy trailer with like Master Chief talking and um they had Marcus Phoenix and Laura Croft and all that. It's a lot more interesting than seeing a bunch of developers talking about how happy they are to be game developers. And the song is playing during the trailer is from Man of Steel. Nathan Fillion's in it. I didn't know that. That's cool. Apparently he's from uh, ODST, and the facial animations for Halo look really good. Like much much better than Fallout 4. It's like gonna be like my meme for these videos. Better than Fallout 4. And there, I like the first Halo 5 CGI trailer a lot better than what, what is, when he first got the poncho. The very first one with the sand because that looked Halo 5-ish. You know what I mean? Sand? Like all the footage they showed here looked very Halo 4. And I'm like, this looks the same as the last game. Let's see some new stuff. And they didn't really show anything new. Master Chief's voice is really cool and sounds great on my speakers downstairs. And then right after Halo they showed a new game for the developers of Metroid Prime. I'm like, Oh, I'm interested now. I never played, I never finished Metroid Prime, but it, I hear it's one of the best games on GameCube. Damn, that was a console. Look at that. Those were the days, GameCube. Oh, man. It's called Recore, and it's got, like, this woman in this weird outfit thing, and it's all deserty, and she's got, like, this robot dog, and there's this blue spear thing, and it's just pure CGI trailer. We don't know much about it at all. And then after that came the first big announcement. Microsoft says, hey, everybody, Xbox One is now backwards compatible. And I'm like... Ho ho! Your move, Sony. Wow, I mean, it's two years late. Hey, it's backwards compatibility. All games from Xbox 360 will now play on Xbox One, which means anyone who buys an Xbox 360 from here on out is dumb. So they showed off the new controller, it's got some customizable pieces, and it's got things on the back, and it's a very fancy looking controller. And the guy from the Bethesda conference came back on, showed more of Fallout 4, which is interesting, because they just had their own whole conference of it. So they showed some new gameplay, but the thing about the Microsoft conference was it moved very quickly. It was like, here's a trailer, we're not even going to talk about it. Here's something else. Like, they kept the bullshit to a very minimum. And here comes a second big announcement that Xbox One will now support mods. And like, that's, that's kind of a big deal. That's the, half the reason people pick PC over consoles. Now, right now, that'll probably be just for Fallout 4, but... I'm sure games are gonna start adopting that because that's that's a huge deal. Pen's sticky and leaking. Oh, why is my pen leaking? No! See, it's on my thumb. Huh? How did this happen? Oh no, not good at all. So after a very strong start, they had EA comes out. They got this new thing called EA Access. It's five dollars a month subscription to get EA uh, EA games. Yeah, they pick the most evil looking guy, have him come on stage, and tell you about a new way that EA is going to take your money. It's, it was awesome. They announced a new Madden. One person in the audience went, Woo! Trailer for Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 came out and it had Danger Zone in it, so that's a plus. Forza Motorsport 6 was next, and they had uh, the guy Henry Ford III. You know Henry Ford, he's the guy that started the uh, mass production, right? They take a blue, they have a blue Ford GT, like, come down on stage, and I'm like, I wonder how strong those cables are. They probably took the engine out and all that, but whatever. I just want them to be like, and with every purchase of Forza Motorsport 6, you will get a free Ford GT 2000, whatever model it is. Everyone will be like, oh, and then you will be like, just kidding. It's like a $400,000 car. I like the contr I like the racing controls of Forza really a lot. I, li I really like the gr I really like the controls of Forza. Like I really like the racing and how the f I really damn it. I really like the racing feel of Forza, but I don't like the weird like foreign. I hate the tracks. They're awful. They look like standard race tracks, and it's like bringing all these famous locations. Like I don't want famous locations. I want pretty locations. That's why I like Forza Horizon so much because it was America. Yes. And it was just a far more beautiful game. Forza Horizon 1, we did foresty stuff and deserty canyony stuff. So let's do mountains and snow. That makes sense for the sequel, right? No, they just do more of the same. And then Microsoft just wins E3 with Dark Souls 3. That's that's it. They win. It's a CGI trailer. I don't want to talk about it too much in this video because I'm going to do a whole video about Dark Souls 3. I also don't want to put that up now. I want to wait to see if maybe Sony shows more gameplay or something in theirs. New trailer for Tom Clancy's The Division. Some new gameplay for Rainbow Six Siege, and just a whole slew of indie game trailers. Tacoma was the one from the developers of Gone Home. That's like in space, sort of. That's very mysterious looking. I like that they're not really telling you anything about what it was about. Ashen was like these faceless people going in a cave underground. Beyond Eyes, this is the game about like a, someone with, who's blind and have the dog. This is the game that's going to try to come off as like this really emotional, good like indie game, but will in the process probably end up being just really childish and... 
cheap. You got Cuphead, which is like straight up like you know the new Disney logo that was or is playing before all their movies now, when it's like old fashioned. It's like it's just straight up classic Disney cartoons. The game. Here comes hit number two. They're calling it Xbox Game Preview, and it's like you can pay for games and play them while they're still in development. And I'm like, oh my God, the Steam Early Access virus this is airborne. PS4, get vaccinated quick! So that's complete bullshit. Playing a new Tomb Raider stuff, which is weird, because I know they got the uh, Xbox exclusivity deals, which I'm curious as to how long the time exclusive will be. For it to be substantial, it'd have to be at least a few months. But so, PS4 people will probably not be playing it this year, especially if it comes out in November. But I wonder how long that'll last. But anyway, the um, Square Enix is having a conference. I, I think that'd be weird that they wouldn't show it at their own conference, so... Pen is broken! A Rare Replay bundle was announced. It's like, for Xbox One, they have 30 of Rare's best games. Rare is like some old developer from way back in the day. Banjo-Kazooie, Congress Bad Fur Day, stuff like that. And they have a new game coming out, which is called Sea of Thieves. It's basically Assassin's Creed Black Flag with crappier graphics. And then Fable Legends, no one cares. Here's where it gets interesting. Xbox is reaffirming its partnership with Oculus. Oculus Rift VR is coming to the consumer soon. So, that will be interesting to see how... I will get... I'm telling you, gaming's about to get very interesting because I do not think people are ready for VR. And then, all right, so they also have, before we get into that, they also have this HoloLens. If you remember, that's a thing where a guy was playing Minecraft, like, on a table in his living room with, like, Google Glass. And they showed a lot more of that here. And I'm like, if I was at E3, I'd probably want to try it out and be like, that's kind of neat, but I would never pay any money for that. And that's got to be ridiculous. It's got to be, like, thousands of dollars. There's no way anyone's going to get that. And unless it's affordable, like, fun and has like its own good games isn't isn't just a gimmick it's gonna face the same fate as connect this is gonna be connect all over again a virtual reality will either be the next step or just another failed gimmick I, it's it's i'm fascinated to see how it plays out i really am i will not get an oculus until i'm convinced there's enough games on it and I, i'm allowed to try it in a gamestop and then i closed up with the gears of four trailer and the new protagonist is completely stupid it's like it looks like it was gonna be marcus because he's in the shadows and then it shows his face and it's not marcus and i'm like yeah whatever so gears of war one is coming hd xbox one and i think that's it wraps up the microsoft so, so in my opinion far superior to the bethesda conference still got ea's gonna suck ubisoft is gonna suck um sony we'll see what sony does with backwards compatibility allowing mods and a dark souls 3 trailer i think Microsoft played their cards well for the most part. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for a Dark Souls 3 video. Again, I'm not sure when the, I was looking up like other pictures and analyzing the crap out of it to try to get as much out of it as I can. Stay tuned for updates on EA, Ubisoft's, and Sony's press conferences later today, and then Nintendo's and Square Enix's tomorrow. I'm Wesley Thompson. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And please return later for all the things I just mentioned, because with God on our side, we shall prevail.